All right guys, it looks like they are not having a good date at all. I don't know if it's the food or the vibe, something is off. Well, at least they have a date. <coughs> Jokes apart, we are here today to talk about the Locator Runway 01 approach at Skiosos Airport. So we'll start first with the introduction to the add-on that we are using here. I will go over the general, you know, geographic brief first of all, and then we'll go dive into the Navigraph chart and look at the approach plate and see what we need to take care of when we fly this approach. And then we will actually fly this approach, set up the FMC, whatever needs to be done and fly this approach with the PMDG 737. Now guys, before we get into any of this, please, please, please make sure you like the video. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel a lot, lot more than you think. It helps my motivation too. So if you guys like seeing these kind of videos, please make sure that you support the channel by a simple couple of clicks. I will highly, highly, highly appreciate each and everyone who is liking, commenting and subscribing to my channel. Please support the channel. Now, without any further ado, let's get to the content. All right, so first of all, we will be using the Orbex Skiathos International Airport. Obviously, just like any other Orbex add-on, extremely top-notch custom airport and island included in this whole package highly detailed rendition of this airport custom imagery pbr textures very very detailed land side and air side like you'll see in the clips going on in the background you also have an option to enable and disable the static aircrafts overall 10 on 10 extremely well modeled and extremely well textured airport like you will see on any other orbex product needless to say it is also on sale right now uh, i think it costs about 10 11 dollars right now so about a uh, 40% discount going on just to give you some context that's where it's located in the world and obviously full of beaches youth driven nightlife and uh, the airport itself is named after an influential novelist whose name is Alexandros Papadiamantis hope I pronounced that right it is also a really good plane spotting location as you can see uh, there are some people standing on the edge of the runway and you can actually feel the jet blast uh, just like you know Saint Martin approach just like that so that makes this approach kind of special not just for the pilots but for the viewers as well because the airplane passes real close to your head when you're standing right there on the edge so that's something about the Skiathos Island and Skiathos Airport now first of all let's review the approach plate and see what we will be flying here so that's our approach plate right here we are going to be doing the locator runway 01 approach. Our runway is right here. And when we start in the aircraft, we will be holding at the SKP VOR, which is right here. So we'll start from there. We'll start planning our approach. So our first, uh, our first outbound point from the SKP VOR is D203C, which is at 203 radial, of course, uh, from the um, SKP VOR. Then after that we will be at d203j which is at uh, which is at a dme of 10 nautical miles from scopulus this one is at at a dme of 3 nautical miles so that's that's why it says d uh, d3.0 and d10 this is uh, 3 miles from skp this is 10 miles from skp once we hit uh, d203j or 10 nautical miles from skp at 203 outbound radial we will be turning right at a radial of 008 and it says that the max speed will have to be 185 knots we'll take care of that we'll see we'll take care of that and then you continue on the 008 radial now you'll see that the runway is a little bit you know in, in a different direction compared to the radial that we'll be entering at so we'll have to correct for that and we'll do that when we manually fly after fq01 now i'm not sure if I'll be manually flying after this 10 DME point or whether uh, FQ01 most probably at 10 DME point because uh, the main reason for that will be the inaccuracies in LNAV of PMDG 737. I've tried this approach um, one time and it doesn't even follow this hold properly. So I cannot trust it to follow this turn at all. I'm going to disable autopilot right at D203J and then we'll turn right into the runway here. But we'll be following the same path. So just, you know, if you fly this in a Phoenix A320 or something, you'd probably have 
a much better uh, um, autopilot support at least until FQ01 and then that's where you take uh, um, that's where you take over manually and fly the aircraft onto the runway now we'll have to take care that uh, we are not floating too much because this is an extremely short runway you'll have to put it down right on those uh, thresholds and just you know go with whatever v uh, v speed rate we are able to do anyway so that's our approach briefing here now let's go over the altitude constraints real quick so we'll be holding at 4000 feet like it says on the hold 4000 feet and then up until d203c we will be at 4000 then from the 10 uh, from the 3 dme point to the 10 dme point we'll descend from 4000 to 2000 and we'll also reduce our speed from like let's say 210 knots to something which is less than 185 knots because we want to be less than 185 knots on this turn to make sure that we have a stabilized and uh, you know a, a, a steep turn here right and then while we are turning we'll keep descending and hit 16 uh, 1600 feet before fq01 we'll hold at 1600 feet until fq01 and then we'll follow a three degree glide slope um, on to the runway. Even after I disable the autopilot, I will be trying to follow the pink uh, pink dots on our PFD so that we exactly follow this, uh, follow this approach and we'll also be exactly following this three degree line as much as possible. A few things to mention here, we also have the missed approach procedure which says if there is a missed approach, you climb on 008, so that's shown right here, uh, from the locator to 2500 feet and then turn right. So we climb to 2500, turn right. Again, the max speed is 185 to the VOR climbing to 4000 and hold. So if in case we have a problem and we have to, uh, we have to have a missed approach, we are going to go outbound 008, climb 2500, max 185 knots turn back into the SKP VOR and hold at 4000 feet here again. That's going to be our missed approach procedure. Let's see if there's anything else. This climb to total prior to level. Okay. So that means before you level off your plane, at least make sure you're at 2500 feet. Um, and then you can, you know, level off and uh, get your flaps out and whatever. What else do we have? We have the minimum decision altitude or minimum decision height. So for us, it is 16,000 feet. So in case you have, um, so, so this is our barometric uh, decision height or minimums. So we'll, we'll mostly be using the barometric minimums. We'll set our barometric minimums to 16,000 feet, which basically means that we are, if we are at FQ01 and we cannot see the runway, it is going to be a missed approach because that's the minimums for this particular approach. And if you set rate, set your radio altimeter, your radio altimeter have to be set at 1591. So basically that'll be the difference uh, between your actual, you know, barometric altitude and your radio altitude. You see that the runway is at nine feet and that's exactly the difference here. Airport elevation is 54 feet. So that's what we'll have to enter on our overhead panel. Doesn't matter a whole lot, but we'll do it anyways. Approach and tower frequencies are given right here. They don't matter to us today because we do not have ATC. Apart from that, I don't see anything that we should be worried about. The only thing that we need to take care of is our uh, runway is only about 5000 meters. So we need to put it down real fast. As soon as we hit those thresholds, we need to put it down. We'll see how it goes. It's going to be hard to fly it with the PMDG 737 compared to let's say Phoenix or I think FBW has a, has an updated, you know, lateral navigation as well. So I think it'll be probably easier to fly it with both of those, but that'll be fine. That'll be completely fine. Let's see how we do. Uh, it's going to be a challenge, but it's going to be a fun to watch video for you guys. So next I am going to directly see you in the cockpit and let's have fun flying this approach. Alrighty folks, we are now in the PMDG 737 cockpit. We are already holding at SKP. We are kind of trying to hold. That's the thing with uh, LNAV right now on PMDG. It, it cannot even hold this hold, basically. Anyways, that's a separate topic. But we will start prepping our aircraft now for the locator runway 01 approach. So what I'm going to do is we'll start from the top 
and go to the bottom and see what all we need to prep so first of all uh huh airport elevation is 54 feet so we need to set our landing altitude to 50 feet which is set and that is good our minimum decision altitude is going to be 1600 feet barrow we are already on barrow here and instead of 200 i'm going to change that to 1600 so let's do that real quick if it lets us by the way i am holding shift and it's still quite slow one eternity later okay so our minimum decision altitude is set to 1600 feet that took a while sorry about that but um okay missed approach i think we'll cover that when we program the fmc what else do we need to set final approach course is 008 so that is set in the heading bug here we will set the course to something else and i'll show you what um missed approach okay so now we pretty much just need to come to the fmc and program our uh, approach by the way still holding kind of arrival uh, we'll go for the ndm01 so let me zoom out and show you what that did there you go so that added our first this this point right here fq01 but it doesn't know what transition i need to come to F fq01 from because i haven't selected that so once i select that you will also see the rest of the route added too which it just did right there you go we are holding here skp we go to 203c first then we go to 203j which makes sense and then to fq01 the other circle that you are seeing here is basically your missed approach path it has already programmed our missed approach path for us where we'll be climbing out from 00 on 008 radial out of the runway from the locator basically locator is skc up to 2500 feet before we uh, clean up our aircraft and then turn right uh, maximum again 185 knots to the VOR which is right here SKP and then we will be holding here again at 4000 feet so coming back to exactly where we are at but right now uh, it shows up as white line it will turn into blue once we execute the route because that's the programmed missed approach path basically and it looks like the missed approach has a bigger hold than what i am at right now but yeah. it'll basically be easier to fly that hold with the pmdg so there you go changed into blue so we have our uh, approach planned out all we need to do now is when we are all ready with the aircraft i can click on skp and place it here so that i can go direct to skp and then to um, D203C, the next waypoint. Anyways, that is done. Our uh, FMC is set. Now, all we need to do is select our VREF, which we'll do after doing everything else. Because the VREF might change based on our total fuel consumption uh, for later. Now, we'll set our auto brakes to max because it's a short runway, don't want to take any risk in, in case we float. I've seen that usually three is fine, even on this runway, but just to not risk it let's uh, let's select max for the altitude we are going to set that to 2000 because what i am going to do is uh once we reach the 10 dme point or d203j i'm going to manually fly this turn because i do not trust pmdg's lnav system to fly this turn uh, turn for us i'll be doing that manually we will be prepping our aircraft for the uh, approach a little bit earlier than usual but that is fine that is fine okay now let's see mm, 2000 feet on the MCP here and uh, apart from that I don't think we need to do anything on the MCP let's quickly tune in our uh, scope loss frequency which is 113.4 one, one, I'm on 3.4 here and 113.4 one, 113.4 one, one, here what you'll see is that has brought up the SKP VOR point right here along with the radial, uh, radial line 
Now if I change this to 0 2 3 0 2 3 that will show a radial line uh, into the path that we need to turn so in case you don't have the approach planned in the FMC you can still fly it manually by these guidelines here and the other one is for this one and we can change that to 0 2 3 as well there you go so both of them pointing in the same direction so in case you don't have this pink line filed you can pretty much uh, reach SKP take a 203 radial turn go to 10, uh, 10 DME turn to a radial of 008 and that's how you manually fly this approach alright what now let's see let's see what else we have to set up here uh, flaps we'll start putting them down as we go everything else looks good engine start switches are on continuous our landing lights are on fast and seat belt signs are on auto we can turn that to on doesn't matter though everything else looks good we do not have the ATC frequency we do not have ATC so we don't need to tune anything in the comms uh, side uh, let's see minimum decision altitude is also set I think we are good to fly this approach now what I'm going to do real quick is go to menu FS action well EMDG setup aircrafts equipment and I'm going to enable all the callouts it's really important here uh, and I, I honestly I just love having callouts of what alt radio altitude I'm at so it's, it's just beautiful okay mm -hmm. I think the next time we take this turn we can pretty much go direct to SKP and then start our approach into LGSK it's looking absolutely beautiful here waiting for it to stop turning and then I'll hit direct to SKP there we go I think we are stable enough we are also back at 4000 feet which is great nice and stable okay I'm gonna copy SKP hit here direct to execute so now we are directly going to SKP and then we are turning into D203 we are good on the altitude we are good on the speed everything else is set up well for the approach let's go guys I'm excited for this one let's see how well we do on this or how bad we do on this okay we have started turning I'm going to disable the auto you know what let's go flaps one here I know we are at a 210 constraint here but you know just prepping earlier than necessary here because we have to fly manual so I want to be reasonably configured when we hit uh, D203J speed's coming down just fine we are already at where we need to be in terms of speed maybe like 20-25 knots slower than what real pilots would do but that's fine we should start descending after D203C and if we need we will put the speed brakes up right now I don't see a need we are still good on the path now it should start descending we already have some drag going due to the flaps let's see how it does and at this point I think I'll go flaps too just to you know Mm -hmm. still on the path one thing that I think I should have done is instead of 2000 and above I should have put I uh, know actually well, it's fine I think we'll be fine not descend too quick we don't need to we'll descend a bit when we take this turn also so it's fine 
so here uh, we are looking to land somewhere there if you've not already guessed it we'll be taking this turn going back and landing there still good still good I'm gonna go flaps 5 here and I'll put the gear down before I take over the manual control because uh, don't want to be scrambling through stuff I, I just have two hands here and I have a P Hotas X doesn't work that well Weather is looking good today. Okay, I know this is too early, but as soon as we hit the point, we are going to put the gear down. There we go. Gear is down. And let's disable the autopilot. And let's fly this thing into the runway. Going to descending too quick. There you go. We are keeping the auto throttle on for now. I don't want to control too many things at once. I want to keep this turn nice and stable first. We can go flaps 2 here. Or oh, sorry, 10. Flaps 15. Okay, you can stabilize here. Don't need to chase the lines. Slowly. Okay, we shouldn't be ascending here. Flaps 25. fully configure it and disable auto throttle once we hit FQ01 not just yet approaching minimums approaching minimums almost there on the minimums here go flaps full auto throttle disabled and there we go oh you know what one thing one thing that we forgot here select our vref let's do that real quick there we go you're good sorry about that we should have done that when we were prep prepping the air i think i called it out too but then i just forgot that's okay little bit high because of that blunder but that's fine we'll be on track just soon i know we have prepped a bit early but please understand we were flying that whole turn 
manually wow. and I'm not very good at flying. 1000 still like three green, sorry, three yellows, one red, which is fine for now. Want to be a little bit high towards the start and then um, lower in the end. 136 knots slowing down just a tad bit. Get good on the approach. Going down too much here. Still on the VNAV path, so that's good. Don't want to slow down too much. Really light on my hands now and just following the visual cues. 100. Good. Going to be a little bit floatier here. say that was a decent landing cutting the reverses out now pulling the flaps up I say that was a decent landing okay we're going to watch this from the outside first because I'm really curious to see what happened Really curious to see what happened. Look at that. That looks so good. That looks so good. Okay, we were good here. I want to see exactly where we touched down. Kind of low here. Let's see how low we went like from this angle, you know. Okay, not too, not too high, not too low, which is good. And then, there we go. Yeah, that was not a bad touchdown, except the fact that I landed a little bit on the left, I think. Right? It was not a bad touchdown at all. Now let's watch it from this view. Could have been a little bit lower. I've seen I've seen much lower approaches. But we landed right on the threshold. Yo, you know what? I did not land on the left. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please, please make sure that you like the video. Please share it with your friends, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me and it helps the channel a lot. It's literally free entertainment. It's not even monetized. It's ad free entertainment. Thank you guys for watching and I'll let you guys watch this wing view here. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe. Happy flying everyone and by the way, happy long weekend. Stay safe doing whatever you're planning to do and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy these views.